Hi, my name is Aprajita and I'm a technical marketing engineer with the Intent Base and Cloud Networking Group at Cisco. In this video, we look at the capability of AP Service Pack and Rolling AP Upgrade, which is available with the Catalyst 9800 wireless controllers. Resiliency in the context of wireless deployments is measured by network availability for clients. This means minimal or no disruption in the network in the event of controller and AP updates. iOS XE is uniquely designed to accept patches in the form of SMUs and AP service packs, which solves the problem of the network being down for tens of minutes while a new image is being loaded. This also expedites the fix going into the network as well as contains the impact to an already released code on the controller. Cisco 9800 supports rolling out critical AP bug fixes using what's called an AP service pack. To activate the bug fix, APs need to be patched with this patch file. The 9800 supports doing this in a staggered fashion, and the idea here is to upgrade access points in a wireless network in a staggered manner, such that an appropriate number of APs are always up and running in the network and providing RF coverage to clients. This is referred to as rolling AP upgrade. The main highlights of this feature are that it's supported natively on the wireless controller using the UI and CLI. It also supports what's called automatic candidate selection using the RRM-based AP neighbor information. The device auto-selects the candidate APs to be upgraded in each iteration based on the percentage of APs to be selected for upgrade that is selected by the user. It can be 5%, 15%, or 25%, with the default being 15%. Clients from candidate APs are then actively steered away using 11V packets with this flag called this association imminent set to make sure that we have seamless network connectivity as APs are being upgraded. For clients that do not honor 11V, they can rely on the next best option, which is 11K. In addition to this capability, starting release 16.11, we have the capability to apply uh, an AP fix on a per site and per AP model basis, which means that a pack can be selectively applied on a particular site and specific AP models that are affected by the fix will only get the bug fix. At the time of AP service pack activation, the user selects the sites where the AP service pack should be rolled out. All APs on the site will be updated with the designated service pack, including any new APs that join the site after the filter is applied. This provides an ability to the user to control the propagation of a service pack in the network. The service pack is only pre-downloaded to the affected AP models. Similarly, when activated, it is activated only on the AP models affected on the selected sites. So both of these work in conjunction with each other, meaning you can select specific sites in a campus and then within those sites, the fix will only be applied to specific APs as designated by the service pack. So this enables control propagation of the fix with minimum or no service disruption because the fix is pre-downloaded and rolled out only to affected AP models. The AP service pack can be applied using a simple workflow on the controller UI. So let's look at a demo of that. In order to add the AP service pack, go into Administration, Software Management, and APSP, which stands for AP service pack. Select the site filters, and this is a per site rollout if desired, and AP upgrade per iteration percentage. The default is 15%, but it can be chosen to be 5, 15, or 25%. Once this is selected, click on Update and Apply to Device. Monitor the progress under AP Pre-Download Statistics and AP Upgrade Statistics until all APs show the status as upgraded. Once the fix is verified on one site, it can be rolled out to the other sites as well. And once the entire network has been upgraded with the AP Service Pack, a commit can be installed. 
In this way, the AP service pack enables us to roll out AP bug fixes on a per site, per AP model basis without bringing the entire network down. Thank you for watching.